right so in the previous tutorial we have seen how we can uh, use a uh, code listing with latex and uh, now let's see how we can use colors uh, with uh, your document so first as usual i will make a new chapter called colors and uh, yeah in order to uh, use uh, color related uh, uh, commands we have to first import a package uh, called uh, which is x color right uh, but uh, i think uh, yeah now we have a whole lot of packages so i will make comments as well then uh, it will be easy for you to uh, distinguish about these packages right so i will name this as maybe package uh, for uh, images and this is a package for tables and this is a uh, package for math expressions and this is for code listings and this is for colors right now uh yeah so we can use this color uh so first i will uh, show you what are the default colors available within this package so yeah maybe let's make a new section called let's say default colors and uh, i will uh, maybe create an item list so it will be easier for me to uh, showcase what are these colors available in this x color package so let's say we have uh, maybe three items right and if i build it now uh we still have this uh this plain old uh, black color right so in order to use different colors uh, we can use this uh, color command and you have to mention what is the uh, name of that specific color so uh, x color package has these uh, sort of enumerated values for predefined colors uh, but uh, later on we will see how we can define our own uh, customized colors as well but uh, yeah let's build it again and now you can see that all the items has become red because uh, we are applying this command over here so any element that comes after this specific command within this block will become red so likewise there are a lot of colors uh, so maybe let me show you around six colors right uh, so yeah we have red and uh, maybe we ha can have green and uh, yeah maybe we have blue and yellow and we have cyan and maybe let's try magenta right so these are uh, some of the colors that i have chosen for the demonstration purposes but uh, you can uh, try out other different colors that are available within this package yes right so let me build it again right now you can see that uh, all the items has become uh, uh, different colors right so this has become red because we have specified the color as red and this has become green because we have specified the color as green so likewise uh, you can apply whatever color you want uh, to your text uh, and uh, yeah let's let's try uh, highlighting session so uh, first i will choose some sort of random uh, sentence like this and uh, let's say i want to uh, highlight this specific segment so all i have to do is that uh, i have to make this entire text wrap within the color box so color box and i have to specify what is the color that i'm going to use so let's see i'm going to use orange and i can wrap this entire 
a text segment within this color box and let's try to compile it again and you will see that now this segment has highlighted within the orange color and uh, you can uh, uh, embed uh, text colors within this color box as well so all you have to do is uh, wrap this uh, segment within the uh, color command uh, but uh, yeah, let's try a different segment. Maybe let's use um, yeah this segment. Let's see. So first, you can wrap the content within the color box. So I will use the same color, and then you can wrap that component within the color segment. So I will maybe use white color instead of black, and. So now this entire segment has applied this color box as well as this color. So let's compile it again. And uh, yeah, maybe did I miss something? Yeah. So you have to wrap this segment as well like this. Now let's compile. Yeah, I can see that uh, this segment has. Uh, highlighted within the orange color as well as the text color has been changed to the white because we have wrapped it within this command right right so that's how you can use default colors that is provided by x color package and uh, likewise you can make uh, custom colors as well so in order to make uh, <coughs> so in order to make custom colors uh, first you have to define what are the color combinations that are that is going to use right so in order to define a specific color you can use this command define color and as an attribute or property you have to pass what is the uh, label that you are going to use to identify this color so in my case i will simply use my color one and uh, you have to uh, specify what is the uh, uh, color format that you are, that is going to use. So I will use RGB color. And uh, if you use RGB colors, you can specify uh, the necessary uh, color combinations within uh, uh, three floats. Uh, so I will use maybe red related color, something like this. Okay. So basically, uh. RGB stand for the uh, RGB stand for uh, red, green, and blue. Red, green, and blue. And uh, yeah, so this RGB combinations follows this schema. So it can be span up to zero to one, right? So any a float within this range can define this specific color, right? So likewise for green, any uh, value uh, between this specific range can define the green color. So likewise, uh, by uh, tweaking these float values, you can make different different types of colors. So that's how this RGB color palette works. So likewise, there are other color color palettes as well, such as you know CMYK uh, and uh, grayscales that are there. But uh, for now, let's Let's try to use this color uh, and maybe, yeah, uh, maybe let's make another section called uh, custom color and let's make another item list. Uh, so let's say my custom color one. And uh, I can add that color, uh, yeah, maybe not here, but here. So I can add that color as a text color. So all you have to do is wrap your content uh, with the text color command, but uh, you have to specify uh, your color label as well. Uh, then let's wrap this content like this and let's build it again 
Right. Now you can see that uh, the custom color has been applied to this specific uh, sentence. So likewise, you can define the whatever amount of custom colors you want. Uh, so for example, I will define maybe a um, few colors. Uh, so let's say uh, my color 2 and let's use uh, RGB the capital format instead of simple RGB so if you specify your color palette in this uh, uppercase format uh, you have to provide the corresponding combination uh, in uh, hexadecimal format uh, so in the hexadecimal range means uh, usually these uh, color values span for uh, 0, 0 to uh, FF level so this is in the uh, hexadecimal format but uh, this can be remapped into uh, decimal format which is 0 to 255 so here a uh, total uh, 256 number of combinations are there for a specific color likewise uh, for each color there can be having different number of uh, levels of your uh, color combination so for instance let's use maybe uh, let's say this is 200 and this is 100 and uh, blue is let's say 50 so this is in the rgb format so likewise there can be having a cmyk format so cmyk stand for uh, cn magenta yellow and black so if you are going to use cmyk format again you have to follow this sort of uh, uh, floating point combination so for example let me use 0 0.7 0 0.5 0 0.3 and black around 0 0.1 so this is in the cmyk uh, color palette format and uh, you can use grayscale as well so if you are going to use grayscale you have to specify the palette as gray and uh, grayscale can be vary from 0 up to 1 so let me use 0 0.5 maybe and uh, you have to specify different uh, labels as well All right so these are some colors that have been created now let's apply this stuff to this list so let me duplicate it four times and let me name this as color two three and four and this is my color two three and six All right now let's build it again All right now you can see that uh, the custom colors that I have been uh, predefined before has been applied now Right, uh, so likewise, uh, you can uh, figure out more uh, color combinations like this. And uh, that's how you can use uh, colors with LaTeX. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.